Hello everyone, this is Susan from Susan Hiles Art. Today I'm working on a prompt for my December Daily Facebook group. The link is below if you're interested in popping on over and see what, seeing what we have going on over there. But the prompt for today is all about using our stash, right? So what do we have a lot of? And you know what, let's pull it out and let's use it. So in this case, I am going to be using leftover scraps of paper. And I will also be using some four by six cards that I've had in my stash for a really, really long time. So I am going to take the, the scraps of paper um, that I'm using this year in my December daily album. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut some of them down. So, you know, right now it's the beginning of December and the pieces that I have, um, I, I don't have a tremendous amount yet, but you know, you all know, I know you know this, <laughs> that as the month goes on, your stash of um, leftover paper just grows, right? And even these things, right, the packaging from the, the pattern collections that, that we get, right? I don't throw it away, do you? Right? So I'm going to use this piece. It's from a 12 by 12 photo play collection. And I'm interested in that middle section right there. So what I'm going to do is just cut it down. And you will see me cut each of those strips, those, those vertical strips in half. Now that those are all cut, I'm just taking a piece of white printer paper because uh, I don't want to get adhesive all over, you know, the top of my desk. And I decided to use a, a glue stick and when you put the glue stick on, just make sure that you're getting all the way to the edge of the paper. Now the fun begins. Um, you take all of your strips of paper and you will adhere them uh, onto your um, you know, Project Life card or piece of card stock or whatever it is that you're using. And you are gonna glue them on on a diagonal now you do want to make sure you saw i picked up that piece there you do need to make sure that the paper is um, over the the edge on the top and on the bottom around all the sides right because we don't want there to be any blank um, underneath paper showing Now we have all of these strips glued down. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off of that piece of paper. And what you'll do is you want to turn it over and go ahead and start trimming off all of the excess paper. Okay, are you ready? It's almost time to turn it over and to see how amazing it looks. Now, before we do that, all of these little pieces of paper, you decide what you're gonna keep and what you're not gonna keep. And look at how adorable this card is. Is it not adorable? I mean, I just love it. I just love it, 
right? So whatever pattern paper you're using this year, you can do the same thing. Then you can decide, well, what do you want to do with it? You can leave it as is because I think it's beautiful as is. It would look really great in a, in a pocket, right, in, in your album. Or you can take a sticker. You can back that sticker so that there's a nice border around it. So you can like back it with maybe a black piece of, of cardstock, you know, cut around it, leave a nice border and glue that onto the, um, the background that we just made or any of these other, right? You can do it with any of these. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the poinsettia. And I just love the way that that looks in the middle, but it doesn't leave a spot for a photo. So I grabbed one of my photos. I, I wouldn't put that photo on here, but um, it's the right size, right? So that's from the HP Sprocket. And now I know that I can place that sticker over to the left side and have plenty of room on the right side to put a photo for when I am ready. And that's it. That's how you use your stash of leftover paper to make something beautiful for your December daily album. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this prompt. And if you would like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope that you have a wonderfully blessed week. Bye-bye, everybody.